Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to the channel and to today's video which of course is a Chelsea news video and there's a bunch of stuff to talk about today. From Ben Chilwell to Ryan Bertrand to Victor Moses to Bubakari Samari. Had to read that. And to the superb and positive news of Reese James's new five-year contract. Very, very pleasant scenes indeed. And we might touch a little bit on Willian and what Chelsea are going to do. In terms of a winger replacing a winger, do you let Willian go? All that kind of stuff. But before we do get into today's video, I want to request that you do subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, please do subscribe. Hit the bell notifications icon and why not like this video to help me out? Right, let's get into it. So before we talk about transfers and names being linked to Chelsea Football Club and indeed the squad conundrum moving forward, forward let's start with a huge positive young Chelsea right back in general footballing superstar Reese James has put pen to paper and signed a new five deal long-term contract with the Blues seeing him stay at the club until 2025 so what's this now Reese James Mason Mount Ruben Loftus-Cheek Fakai Tamori Callum hudson Doy. five Chelsea Young Academy players have all signed their long-term futures up to Chelsea Football Club under Frank Lampard. And really, it's just Tammy Abraham that's yet to do it, which is an interesting one because it makes you wonder why has transfer, transfer talks, definitely not transfer talks, contract talks broken down. Maybe he sniffs something on the horizon like a Timo Werner and he doesn't like it, therefore he's reluctant to sign. Maybe there is speculation of someone that will undermine his presence and uh, profile as Chelsea's number nine. Just speculating here. But we can talk about that more in the future as and when more things happen. So of course, just keep it locked to football therapy. But anyway, Reese James, an absolute beast of a right back. This sort of modern day fullback personified in a really physical, fast, technically gifted young right back. Reese James can play in midfield. He can play right back. He can play left back. He can play right wing back. He can do whatever he wants. He just puts in perfect crosses, passes all the time. He can score goals. He can go on the underlap. He can combine. It's pointless me waxing lyrical all the time because odds are you know just how good Reese James is. And him signing a new five year deal is huge. Probably Chelsea's <laughs> best signing of the window. Okay, all right. I mean, even if Chelsea signed a couple of players who are average backups, this would still be the signing of the window for me. Reese James said some nice things. Obviously, he's been at Chelsea since he's a little kid. He talked about that. And he also said how he could actually retire at Chelsea. He loves the club. Just positive stuff you'd expect to hear from a young academy graduate doing well in the first team. Anyway, let's move on. Lille midfielder Bubakari Samari, if that's pronounced well or right indeed, is a 20-year-old central midfielder that's been linked to both Manchester United and Chelsea. And I want to take this opportunity to say I have no idea why. Well, I know why he's linked to Man United, because their midfield is the softest midfield in, out of the big six, in my opinion, or near about. Basically, that's their biggest weakness, their midfield. Allegedly, it's down to the player to choose his destination and both clubs are willing to buy him, but really, really? Chelsea is so flush for midfielders. They've got the likes of Ruben Loftus-Cheek to come back, Billy Gilmore to come through, Ethan Ampadu to return and potentially play in midfield. Really, this doesn't make any sense. If Chelsea were to buy a central midfielder, or sorry, a midfielder, it wouldn't be a central midfielder. It would be like a cam attacking midfielder who can play on the flanks. Someone like Isco. So unless I am missing something, really, I'm not so sure this is a good move. Maybe it's a, just a silly news story or Chelsea might be winding up United trying to wind up the price. But if Chelsea end up with another central midfielder this window and not a forward or a left back, I like him up. Anyway, I looked at his stats and his metrics as well. Not an offensive midfielder. Doesn't look like a player we need at all. So hopefully there's nothing to this story. Let's move on. Quick shout out to Antonio Conte. Still getting the band back together. Wants to get Olivier Giroud. Has obviously bought Lukaku and Sanchez from United. I think Ashley Young's going there as well. But now it's rumoured that he wants Victor Moses. Pretty hilarious, right? But I kind of get it. Immediate impact. He obviously knows Conte's system down to a T. Was incredibly effective in that right wing back position when he won the title at Chelsea with Conte so maybe as a rotational player kind of makes sense for everyone involved but I, you know it just made me laugh I mean if it wins in the Scudetto this season then fair play and it's obviously cheap options in a club that's already spent so much money for him so meh 
Anyway, moving on. Ryan Bertrand. <laughs> I woke up this morning to links around the news that Chelsea want Ryan Bertrand because he's a left back and Chelsea need left backs. Chelsea obviously are playing three different players in that position at the moment and the player that's playing there isn't actually a proper left back in Azpilicueta. Both Marcus Alonso and Emerson Palmieri are out of favour and it does look like Chelsea want to buy someone so Ryan Bertrand's epic return is apparently on the cards obviously mini cult hero for playing in the champions league final but does this make sense no probably not like most of the stories today <laughs> apparently leicester want him as well as a potential ben chilwell replacement which kind of makes a bit more sense but not that much more sense now look i rate ryan bertrand and i think maybe he could do a job at leicester if say ben chilwell was to move on who knows maybe even to chelsea but to be honest after ben chilwell's recent form and disappointing performances against the big teams and doing not so great defensively i'm not overly hyped i mean i'm sure he's a very very good player at a very optimum age for in terms of a player acquisition 23 years old generally talented but at the money he would cost Chelsea Football Club and the form he is in, it's quite concerning, really. I mean, I'd probably even rather get Ryan Bertrand for probably not much money at all. <laughs> Obviously, Frank Lampard's played with Ryan Bertrand and knows what he can offer on the pitch. But it's not a very inspired signing. But I suppose if Chelsea just gets someone in at left back that Lampard feels comfortable and happy with, they can put all the positive funds into a summer transfer, which may come in the shape of, who knows, a Timo Werner or a Jadon Sancho. But if you ask me this January, who would you rather get out of Ryan Bertrand and Ben Chilwell? It would still, of course, be Ben Chilwell, because I've seen the positive performances. I'd just be concerned of how much he would cost Chelsea. Right, let's talk about Willian. Still no contract. A few months ago, it seemed like a given he was going to sign a new contract with Chelsea. Frank Lampard loves him. He's been integral to how this, his side plays this season. But he is 31, and we thought mm, maybe he'll get like an 18-month, two-year contract. But apparently, he's still only being offered the one year, and Willian is not happy with that. So it looks highly likely he will be gone in a few months' time. Now, this is both sort of fair enough and kind of sad. If both Pedro and Willian go, you can expect, say, a Jadon Sancho and maybe even someone else to have the fourth winger. Who knows? Could even bring an academy kid through at that point. Hmm. But it's an interesting one. Like I said, Willian has been playing incredibly well, and for a man in his 30s, his energy levels are incredible. The way he remains mobile until the last minute of the 90 and he continues pressing, tracking back, doing defensive work, scoring the odd worldie, generally being a very impressive player in this Chelsea team. But maybe Chelsea think, well, we just don't think he can do that moving forward. Let him go on a free to Barcelona. If everyone can be quite amicable and happy with the part, then fair enough, I guess. Something else I did want to talk about properly. It's not a proper news story, but... Oscar has posted some stuff on social media about Chelsea, you know, pictures of him, nostalgic pictures of him with Diego Costa, Eden Hazard, Willian, and um, Frank Lampard when they played together, hugging. Every now and again, Oscar posts about Chelsea, these nostalgia posts, but this one, more than ever, seems a bit like a sort of come and get me plea. Which got me thinking, people on social media are commenting and reminding me of the China salary caps, which I haven't looked into properly, but apparently there might be incentive for Oscar to want to leave China and maybe, who knows, come back to a European club. I looked at how old he was thinking he'll be 29, 30, but he's still only 28. In fact, he turned 28 in September. So it got me thinking, man, if Chelsea do want this sort of number 10 attacking midfielder to play between the lines, Maybe a two-year contract for Oscar to see him until he's 30. That might be a good option for a rotational player just to sort of bring him back into the big time for a bit of a swan song before, who knows, he goes to the MLS afterwards. <laughs> just a thought experiment, really. I did tweet it out and there was mixed reactions actually from what I said. Lots of people said yes, definitely. Lots of people said absolutely no way. What are you doing, Yannick? Are you drunk? Are you okay? Is everything okay? Do you need someone to come over? So yeah, mixed reactions. Still, it's a really interesting time and Chelsea, I imagine, still will do a business. Obviously, there's talks of a marquee signing still coming in in January, but I think that would be very difficult knowing that it 
probably won't be either Jadon Sancho or Timo Werner unless the deal is structured in such a way like the Christian Pulisic deal for them to arrive in the summer just sign in January. Who knows we will have to see. Anyway let me know your thoughts and comments get down into the comment section below express yourself what do you think of these players these new stories i want to hear it from you lot get down into the comment section and remember if you want to support me click in the link in the top of the description to go subscribe to yan's yard my second channel where i will be doing some content today so make sure you go check it out also if you've enjoyed the content today guys please do like the video why not subscribe to the channel if you are new and please do follow me on social media at football yannick on both instagram and twitter that's at Football Yannick. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.